What's up, people? All right, those of you who follow this beginner's channel probably know by now, and if you don't know, let me tell you that if you are if you are a beginner to Linux, check out Zorn OS, Linux Mint, and Ubuntu. What you see here is Ubuntu version 13.10. Now, some of you may have seen the blog, blogs news about Linux Mint being insecure versus, say, Ubuntu, what you see here. Before I explain what's going on here, as a Windows 7 user, okay, and as a Windows dual booter now for a number of years, I can tell you that if Linux Mint, how can I say this, if Linux Mint was the most insecure Linux-based operating system in the world, if that were true, it would still be more secure than my Windows 7. Now, that's not to say that Windows 7 is not secure. It can be made, it can be made secure with proper and lots of maintenance, such as antivirus, spyware, installing all the updates, rebooting multiple times if you have to, and fun stuff like that. So Windows 7 with maintenance can be made secure enough to where I feel comfortable using it. But some of you know that my number one reason for using Linux is security. For me, Linux gives me that extra edge of security. Besides having fun trying the various versions of Linux, desktop environments, and just tinkering around with stuff that you can't normally do uh, in Windows. Now getting back to Linux Mint. Let's take a look at something here. Now, I don't have Linux Mint installed here in my desktop. I have it in two of my laptops. What we're talking about here is the way Linux Mint per performs updates with their uh, update manager. They are categorized into different levels of updates level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Level 1, 2, and 3 are generally recommended and safe updates to perform on your Linux Mint system. 4 and 5, if you wanted to install those, you can go into Preferences and adjust the Update Manager to where you could install updates level 4 and 5 and certainly make Linux Mint as secure as possible with the knowledge, with you knowing that if you install those updates, you could crash your system. And I suppose if you crash your system and can't use it, that would make Linux Mint inherently <laughs> de facto the most, the most secure Linux in the world since you couldn't get online. Ha 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 ha. I will tell you this. When I had Ubuntu, the previous version of this, I installed all the updates all the time. Didn't care if they were stable or not. Well, it did crash my system. But see, I already knew that. I knew that sooner or later, you know, if if there is some kind of bug or incompatibility with, you know, with the updates, with the Linux kernel in my system or whatever, chances are it's going to crash. And it did. I tried for some hours to try and fix it using terminal commands and stuff like that. Some of you, some of what I'm saying now for you beginners, you probably don't have a clue. That's okay. Don't worry about that. Anyway, I just reinstalled the latest version of 13.10 and I'm fine. I did not I did not install the video drivers because I had a feeling that the video drivers and the updates probably is what caused my system to crash. I'm not sure, but that being said, getting back to Linux Mint, it has to do with the update manager. And if you install Linux Mint and have been tinkering with this, you've seen this before. So what's going on here is this. In my opinion, as a Windows dual booter, you are perfectly fine and secure to install level 1, 2, and 3 updates without messing around with 4 and 5. Now, yes, as I said, it is possible to be even more secure with the installation of, of those level 4 and 5 updates. But, and it's a bit big, bigger but, are you willing to risk crashing your system or making it unstable. And how many times have I mentioned this before? Linux sometimes can be more unstable than my Windows 7 machine and that this would be a good example. In general, Linux is stable, but not all the time depending on the updates. If I don't maintain my Windows 7 machine with anti-malware software and updates, it can become unstable. Now luckily for me with Windows 7 it's never crashed. It's never become 
unstable. So I'm impressed. So when I say Windows 7 to me is the standard, that's what I am going by by my experiences with the understanding that there is lots and lots of maintenance involved, which is annoying. With Linux Mint or Ubuntu, there is less maintenance involved. But Linux Mint might be a little bit easier to use and a little bit safer if you are a beginner because it does not take the chance to install those extra updates such as the Linux kernel which yes will make it even more secure but it doesn't do that because Linux Mint strives to be beginner friendly and you don't want your system crashing on you like it has for me in the past multiple times. Now I'm cool with that because I know what's going on but if you are new to this you install something, you do all the updates and it crashes that is probably going to be the first and last time you mess around with Linux. Anyway those are my thoughts as far as updating or whether Linux Mint is insecure. To me it's secure or secure enough and I feel more comfortable with security issues more comfortable in Linux than I do in Windows 7. Keep in mind nothing is 100% and always back up your files just in case whether you use Linux or whatever version of Windows that you use. Well that's uh, Toss's thoughts if you will my thoughts about this as always thank you so much for watching and listening as always, I will catch all of you sometime in your Linux Mint future.